and welcome back to Miss Emily's Story Corner. Today we're going to read another ocean story and it's one of my favorite ones. It's called Swimmy. The story is by Leo Leone. And I love this story because it has some beautiful pictures in it that kind of look like a watercolor painting. And I love this story because it, tell, it teaches us that it is okay to be different and it's okay to be brave and work together as a team. So we're gonna read this story, then I'm gonna show you how to make your very own swimmy painting. <gasps> wow. So after we read the story, I'll show you how to make that beautiful painting. Swimmy is by Leo Leone. So he is the author and the illustrator of this story. So that means he painted all of these beautiful pictures of the ocean with all of the fish. A happy school of little fish lived in a corner of the sea somewhere. They were all red. Only one of them was as black as a mussel shell. He swam faster than his brothers and sisters. His name was Swimmy. Do you see him? <gasps> there he is, Swimmy. One bad day. A tuna fish, swift, fierce, and very hungry, came darting through the waves. In one gulp, he swallowed all the little red fish. Only Swimmy escaped. Do you see Swimmy? Yes. He swam away in the deep, wet world. He was scared, lonely, and very sad. But the sea he was full of wonderful creatures, and as he swam from marvel to marvel, Swimmy was happy again. He saw a Medusa made of rainbow jelly. Wow, a jellyfish. A lobster who walked about like a water-moving machine. Strange fish. Pulled by an invisible thread. A forest of seaweeds growing from sugar candy rocks. An eel whose tail was almost too far away to remember. He was very long, this eel. And sea anemones who looked just like pink palm trees swaying in the wind. Then, hidden in the dark shade of rocks and weeds, he saw a school of little fish just like him. Let's go and swim and play and see things, he said happily. We can't, said the little red fish. The big fish will eat us all. But you can't just lie there, said Swimmy. We must think of something. So Swimmy is different than the red fish because he is adventurous and he wants to see the, the ocean and see things. But the little fish are, the little red fish are still scared of the big fish that ate so many of them before. So Swimmy wants them to be brave and explore the ocean with him. Swimmy thought and thought and he thought. Then suddenly he said, I have it. We are going to swim all together like the biggest fish in the sea. Hmm, I wonder how they're going to do that. He taught them to swim close together, each in his own place. Starting, all the fish are swimming together. It's starting to look like a, a big fish. And when they had learned to swim like one giant fish, he said, I'll be the eye. So there's Swimmy right there. He's pretending to be the eye of the big giant fish. If you look really far back, it really does look like a big giant fish swimming through the water. And so they swam in the cool morning water and in the midday sun and chased the big fish away. 
So even though the little other little fish were scared to swim in the water, Swimmy had an idea of how they could work together to swim through the water and be brave and see all the things in the ocean. So I just love that story because all the fish have to work together so that they can see the ocean. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to make this pretty swimmy painting. And there's our little swimmy, just like the eye of the big fish. So come along with me, friends, and I'll show you how to paint this beautiful picture. Okay, so I already painted my paper with watercolors to make it look just like the ocean. And I made my stamp out of a toilet paper roll, and all I did was cut it in half, make a V shape for the tail, and then an oval shape for the head part of the fish, and I just glued it together. So we're gonna use this side as the stamp. You just have to make sure it's completely flat at this edge so that when you stamp, it makes a perfect fish shape. So, we can make our painting look just like the big fish at the end of the story with one swimmy as the eye. So, you can draw a big fish shape in the middle of your paper. You can have an adult help you do that too so that you know where to stamp. So we'll do the head of the fish right here, and then there, and the little tail. A little bit. Okay, so now we know where to stamp, because I drew out a big fish in the middle, okay? So first, I'm gonna stamp with red, because in the story we had all the red fish, and then just one swimmy fish. So, I'm gonna stamp, stamp, stamp. Okay, now I'm gonna get my black paint. Okay. Wow. Then I'm gonna take a little paintbrush and I'm gonna fill him in because if you, in the story, all the red fish were just the outline and the swimmy fish was black on the inside too. So black paint. Just kind of fill them in. There we go. Now we have our swimmy painting. You could also, you don't have to stamp in a fish shape. You could also just stamp all over the page wherever you wanted to. Okay, so that's our swimmy painting. Okay, friends, I hope you had fun reading our swimmy story today and our beautiful swimmy painting. I had a lot of fun doing that with you today, friends, so I hope you had a great day and have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.